Hello there, welcome back. In this video we're going to be taking a look at another hang on the back filter, but don't worry, this one actually looks pretty good. Certainly looks a million times better than that horrific abomination that we took a look at in the last video. And this one is the Hang On Filter 100 from Superfish. This one unfortunately again relies on cartridges that have to be bought like replacement cartridges um, but the cartridges are actually pretty good and I like the way that this one functions let me explain it's recommended for a tank up to 100 litres or 38 US gallons and the pump shifts 450 litres per hour or 118 gallons per hour that's pretty much it <laughs> That's really as much information as you need. You just need to know that it shifts plenty of water and that it will hopefully filter the water for a reasonable sized tank. As you can see, that is a vision of beauty compared to the one we saw in the last video. Water comes in, goes up, and of course you can adjust how much water is drawn in and therefore how much water is spat out. It goes down into the pump, but from there, It's actually forced through these two cartridges that fit in very securely in here before it heads back out to the tank over the spillway. So that's the cartridges out of the filter. They slot together really well. So the water's fed from the pump into here, then passes out of here into the other cartridge. Bigger versions of this filter have more cartridges or less cartridges if they're a smaller version. But that makes sure that all the water has to be forced through the foams and the fine pad. If you bear with me a second, I'll just pull this apart because luckily it can be taken apart and that is really good. And that will be easy for normal people but when you've still got a, a broken knuckle in your thumb, it's not good. <laughs> mm. Have to do it like a lobster. That's it. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Good. So that's the inside. Obviously, water comes in there. Then you've got a void in the top. The water has to go through this coarse pad which looks like it's impregnated with carbon and then it goes out each side of the filter through a fine pad. So you've got coarse with a bit of chemical in the form of um, the carbon, which there isn't much of to be honest. So you've got coarse, carbon, fine. So you know that when the water actually comes out of the filter, it is going to be really clean because it can't be anything but clean. There's no way any fine muck is going to get through there. So basically everything that's sucked up from the tank is going to end up in these cartridges. That's good because if you've got a lightly stocked tank where these aren't going to clog quickly, they will last quite a while. And once the carbon's depleted, it doesn't really matter. You know, you could just pull those apart, clean them out, put them back together and use them again and again and again. You wouldn't have to buy new cartridges. However, if you had a normally stock tank or indeed like a goldfish tank or something like that, and the filter was sucking up muck and pumping it into here, these cartridges wouldn't last long. You would be forever cleaning them and the fine pad wouldn't be able to be cleaned many times before you needed to buy new components for this. As you know, I'm not really a fan of replaceable cartridges. Even though these ones are exceptionally well made, customizable, and will be very effective. I'm still not a fan of them. We can do better than that. And as long as you don't mind having a block of foam on the intake, the upgrade for this filter is really easy. So that would take care of the vast majority of the mechanical filtration. Every few days you would just take this off, squeeze it out. Even if you squeezed it out under the tap, it wouldn't really matter. 
that's not going to hold a vast amount of bacteria but it is going to hold a lot of muck and obviously the bigger you make this uh, pre-filter foam the more muck it will catch then the water goes up into the pump and it gets blown out into the cartridges and luckily these cartridges are so easy to upgrade uh, we can make this filter very efficient so all we do is just pop that side off take out the fine pads and the coarse pad looks like one of those uh, ice cream things doesn't it or like an Oreo or something <laughs> uh, however if you wanted to leave a fine pad in there on either side you could do that I'm not going to though then inside of there we've got a bag of bio gravel which is a gravel shaped form of the bio home media I normally sell these in 250 gram bags but 250 grams just won't fit in 200 grams just about fits in there we go so then we join those back together so the water has to come in bear in mind that is our void it then has to come out through the sides through all the media which it can easily do because they're in mesh bags when you want to clean these out all you would do is just pop those faces of the, the the filter compartments off take out the bag give it a quick shake in a bucket of water that you've drained off from the tank during a normal water change slap them back in and they're good to go they will last indefinitely and there we have it mechanical filtration Ooh, where are we? there's our pump pumping up into our biological filtration and that gives us 400 grams of the bio gravel and for you guys in the US that is 4.1 ounces that would make it suitable for a tank of around about 40 litres if it was normally stocked and in gallons that is 10.5 US gallons or if it was heavily stocked you could halve those figures to 20 litres for a heavily stocked tank or 5.25 US gallons so for a breeder tank a shrimp tank well really any small tank that you wanted to filter efficiently that would be a good filter to do it with filter itself is cheap even if you wanted to go with the replacement cartridges in there which you can clean out and reuse they're not outrageously expensive so you could even just go with that I prefer to see proper filter media in there with masses of surface area for the bacteria both the aerobic and anaerobic bacteria to process the ammonia nitrite and nitrate but you've got plenty of options there and as I mentioned before if you didn't want to put quite as much filter media in here on either side of those cartridges you could reuse those fine pads if you wanted to absolutely polish the water but really there shouldn't be any need you're not going to be using this on a big heavily stocked tank now as far as the form of this hang on the back filter goes I like the design it's just I mean it's basically copying everybody else's design but it's simple you know there's nothing much in the tank all you've got is this with perhaps a bit of foam on and you've got a little spillway coming back into the tank it doesn't take up space in the tank because everything else hangs outside the tank it's difficult to explain it it doesn't feel like hard brittle plastic it, it feels almost flexible in fact it is flexible you know it just it feels like it's gonna last a long time the cost of it is really cheap as well the running costs of it actually I didn't mention that where are we I should have my glasses on but I don't oh what does that say six watts so it's gonna cost next to nothing to run this 24 7 there's plenty of opportunities to upgrade it however you see fit um, this is just my idea what I would personally put in but you know you may have better ideas it's it's just a, a good well-made cheap and ultimately effective filter so as far as recommendations go 
I would say definitely check this out. The link to it is in the video description. Big thanks to Sylvie for sending me this filter. She also sent me the filter that we featured in the last video as well, which was the Eheim Liberty 75, which compared to this was absolutely awful. This is so much better, so much cheaper, better made, better to look at, easier to upgrade. This is just a good filter. I quite like what Superfish are doing. They're producing filters which look fine, are very well made and perform pretty well and also give you the option to upgrade them yourself. You know, you're not tied into a specific cartridge that you have to put in that filter. And a lot of companies are going down that route and that really pays me off because you think you're getting a good deal when you buy a cheap filter, but if you are constantly buying little thin cartridges to go in which are clogging up or expiring after four to six weeks, it ends up costing you a fortune. And this one does not have to cost a fortune. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it anywhere and I'll see you next time. The next video will be coming soon. Actually I forgot to say the filter does come with attachments that will allow a tea piece to go on here with a skimmer so you can also skim dust and muck and uneaten food and so on off the top which will then end up getting drawn into the filter. I haven't connected it with this setup because I want all the stuff, all the muck, uneaten food fish waste, whatever, to be stuck on the foam. If we've got a skimmer, it kind of bypasses the foam and goes straight into our media, in which case we'd be better off if we wanted to use the skimmer using the standard pads on the inside. That would also reduce the amount of bacteria that would be living in here, so, you know, choice is yours. For a very lightly stocked tank, I'd say go with the original pads in there. If you've got fish or any sort of decent stock, then upgrade it. Something like this. Make up your own mind.